Welcome back guys to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make crispy potato wedges. Yes, you heard me. We are making crispy potato wedges and these are so easy and simple to make and we're only going to be using three different seasonings. So stay tuned to see how I do it. First of all, I'm starting off by chopping my wedges. You can chop them into any shape that you prefer. I'm not really particular about it. The main thing that you must make sure is that they're all around about the same size. So I'm just going to do that quickly. So I am using soft potatoes. These are the best potatoes to use. First, you, if you want to do it my way, you're going to chop your potato in the middle. Then you're just going to chop it diagonally like this. And then you get these nice um, wedges. Just make sure you wash your potatoes beforehand. So these are all the potatoes that I'm going to be wedging or making potato wedges out of. The next step is just to pour these into boiling hot water and then we're going to season the water with salt. We're not trying to soften these too much so we're just going to boil them for around about 10 minutes just so that they can start cooking and then we're going to move over to step 3. Okay, so these are my potatoes after I've boiled them for 10 minutes. Now, the next step is you're going to take some butter and you're just going to brush it on your potatoes. Make sure that you cover all the potatoes. Now, the good thing about this is that your potatoes are still warm. So your butter is just going to melt right on the potatoes. So at this point you can preheat your oven to 180 degrees. Then the next seasoning that we're going to put on is some salt again. Put some black pepper and the third one and this is the one spice that you can you know choose whichever one you like today I'm using the garlic and herb um, seasoning you could also use the uh, Robertson's garlic and rosemary or roasted um, garlic and herb spice that's also really good so just want to make sure that you sufficiently cover your potatoes and then we're just going to mix them up to make sure that all the sides have the seasoning. What's important to note is when you put your potato wedges in your oven, you should check up on them but you should not do any form of mixing because they might be sticking to your foil or parchment paper and you only want to move them at the very last stage when you're done. So now that our potatoes are sufficiently covered, we're going to pop them in our oven for 15 to 20 minutes or until the potatoes have softened. Obviously this also depends on how small, how big or how thin or thick your potatoes are. 